टुडे वी हैव मिस्टर मीनाक्षी सुंदरम फ्रॉम महाराजा बुलियन एंड रिफाइनरी सर कुड यू जस्ट ब्रीफ अस अबाउट योर बुलियन एंड योर रिफाइनरी बिजनेस सर बेसिकली वी आर फ्रॉम कोयम्बतूर एंड वी आर इन टू बुलियन एंड रिफाइनिंग एंड ऑल्सो वी आर इन टू मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ ज्वेलरी रिटाइल इवन ज्वेलरी हॉल मार्किंग नाउ वी आर गेटिंग इन टू डिजिटल गोल्ड ऑल्सो एंड वी हैव अवर ओवरसीज ऑपरेशन इन प्रोक्यूरमेंट ऑफ मिनरल्स एंड एज वेल डोरे बस एंड सेवरल कंट्रीज and uh, we have our overseas establishment in more than 8 places uh, so now we are successfully getting into other venture like digital gold also could you just brief us about the uh, refining and the bullion dealing business in uh, tamil nadu and coimbatore as a whole in brief coimbatore is a jewelry manufacturing hub and uh, geographically we have one of the biggest uh, manufacturer in asia in coimbatore and also coimbatore is also a place for many small players small manufacturers it's a friendly and big size business paimathur is definitely a good place just coming to your uh, dore supplying unit and do you just deal in dore or do you deal in scrap gold as well actually we deal in dore bars that we used to import scrap gold we used to buy from the local market we have our uh, purchasing partners we have our direct offices then overseas it's completely based on the dore bars and also we are also in the mineral dealing like ores and concentrates and we have our concentrates plant also in coimbatore coming to your refining business what do you think is the demand coming up in the few months because of the festive season and the other important events right now the market is zero premium but as far as a dore bar concern or as far as a bullion business concern it is good and the upcoming festival days will be so good we have that strong feel even though the war circumstance inr is in our down phase but still due to the festival season we hope the upcoming diwali then uh, new year christmas will be good can you just tell me about some of the challenges faced by your refining and a bullion industry in india as a whole the main challenging factor is with the cash trading and also the unorganized players both in refinery and bullioners i can't blame them because it was there in the system for a long time but it's a moment let the unorganized players try to come to the platform try to convert them or try to promote them as a organized sectors maybe a refiner or a bullioner as well as now the international circumstances maybe fatf or uh, indian fiu have a very strong uh, compliance pro- process and procedures and uh, there are uh, more penal classes also it is not like earlier days now the things are getting different and uh, we have to adapt to the time a time will not adapt for us you told you are venturing into digi gold can you just elaborate a little more about that sir digi gold now the ultimate need of the digital gold is and people are going for an alternate investment and also as per the wgc's recent reports the sale of jewelry declines to reasonable size but the buying of gold is there maybe Uh, instead of promoting us uh, jewelry but jewelry is there it is it will be there forever uh, maybe a small small part we can promote to the people as in a digital form and as in a simplified manner uh, instead of going with a bigger size bigger volume or big uh, bigger value addition we will go for a simpler one uh, maybe our customer will feel happy for that that's ultimate goal to promote the digital gold can you just give us a feedback about uh, india gold conference 2023 yeah. we are long term customers or even we can say we are part of indian gold conference for a pretty long time i i don't even remember i am coming for a very long time i can't remember the first conference venue but every year wherever in the world i am i am in traveling by the time of conference i will be back to here that a presence uh, in the conference wonderful platform i hope everyone utilize it and enjoy it thank you so much sir